you this last time, what okay? And I'm gonna ask you again, and I'm serious, all right? Oh. He's serious. Find me a new fucking hoe. Wait! Peace. All right. Start off with uh, the tradition, you know what it is. Heads bows. Let's go. Eyes closed. Father God, we thank you, Jesus, for everything you do for us. Everything you're doing for us right now, everything you're going to do for us, and everything mm -hmm. you've done for us. We thank you for all the obstacles you put in our way to strengthen us. We thank you for everything that you've shown us, Father God, that broke us and remade us. Father God, we thank you for who you are. And we thank you for who you made us to be. Yes. We pray in moments like this, we can explore conversation, Father God. We can explore brotherhood, Father God. We can explore art, Father God. We can explore everything that it is to explore about this beautiful thing you call life. We ask that you guide us as we do this. Guide us on this journey to speak what you want us to speak, be who you want us to be, and do what you want us to do. We pray overall at the end of the day that your will be done in our lives, your will be done in this podcast, your will be done in our music, and everything that we touch, think of, or dream of, Jesus. In your holy name, we pray, and we thank you for this opportunity. We bless everybody in this room. We bless all of our listeners. We bless anybody that, that the power of our prayer can reach. And we pray in your holy name for another blessed day. Amen. Amen. And amen. Ooh, I'm ready to Let's do it. You ready take to take this shit off? Yeah. Dang, that's crazy. You know, I realized something. Always after a good prayer, you know, you just uh you just you just throw in a cuss. Do do I curse every time? Yeah, I think after a prayer it's, it's Oh it's, wow. It's pretty uh, yeah. paper, pen, pens and pencils. Staples. Um cups, no cups. We have cups. Did we buy these from Staples? You could have. How was your weekend? My weekend? Yes. <laughs> Um, weekend. Damn, I, I guess Sunday. week. It's week. Sunday. How was your whole week? It's Sunday. The Sunday, week was Sunday. a chill week, bro. It was it was a smooth week. Um, none too eventful. It was a whole lot of family time this week. Okay. Well, I'm catching up on that because I know I've been MIA. Um, I know I, I haven't really you know been there too much, so I've been really diving in and giving a whole lot of extra family time uh, this week. A whole lot of. Overtime in this this day to day slavery I gotta do, you know. Mm -hmm. Um but overall a good week, bro. I feel like this is a week where, you know, it was uh it was a breakthrough of the funk. You know, like when you get that funk sometimes that like that just like it's just like it's not fully depression, but it's like you feel that that dark closet coming over you. Like you yeah. just feel that like I don't wanna work, I don't wanna do this, Shit. like I just wanna just 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 you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, this week was one of those break through that and and find that that second win that's really like the second hundred thousand win you know but you find that second win and it's good man and I'm appreciative and I'm thankful for uh, where we at bro yeah man what about you how's your week brother how has your week been I feel like you had an eventful week it was it pretty a, eventful it it was a uh, it was things that happened uh, I found out that I did not get in trouble at work. Um, okay. with with whatever I was, uh, what I did okay. yeah mm -hmm. I did not get in trouble I didn't do it <laughs> allegedly <laughs> hey <laughs> hit him with the allegedly allegedly I did not do that uh, so that was uh, pretty good so I'm back whipping it in the golf cart um, and you know besides that stuff going on musically I got a lot of shit happening right now. Mm -hmm. I got Versus that's coming back. Tell them about it. Tell them about I it. I got Moody 2 that's dropping soon, maybe like four or five weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's just a lot of collaboration, a lot of networking on it. A lot a of beauty. A lot of dope ass music. So much talent, bro. A lot of dope ass music. So much bro. talent on it. And, that. you know, it, this shit's going to go crazy. It is going to be in the middle of summer, which is fine with me. Mm. It's fine with me. We're, I'm independent. I don't play by the rules. So Right. Doesn't matter. You got you make the rules. I make the rules. This is the thing about being independent. It's like do what you want. It's Bro, funny though, that's, um, music coming out. Uh, music out now. I got a song that I dropped today. Well, the Sunday. video. Yeah, the video now. It's it's on SoundCloud yeah, now. Always too. chasing clout. I'm a hooligan, but this ain't what they talking about. Man, I'm more than like these niggas. All that stress and suits. I live amongst the living. You get picky. Yeah, but you gotta do it because one time I did this uh -huh. and I said it and you didn't put it. And I felt like a dickhead. Wait, wait. What yeah, do you I was like, mean? yeah, it's right here, and there was nothing there. I felt like a dickhead. Oh, I love it. We're gonna blame the editor. Is what I meant. 
Oh, uh, I was oh. going to blame the app. <laughs> <laughs> that damn app did it again. <laughs> Fucking took that, Wait, damn, tell you I took that <laughs> damn thing off. What the fuck? Let me tell you something. I put an email in, though. You, you sure? <laughs> yeah. Complaint? Uh, yeah, as soon as I saw when you mentioned it. To I, the info I, in the... Yeah, they, they'll they get back to me. So, this, so now it's... They, One more time, in case they didn't get it. Okay. To mm, make sure. The link is here. Um, there. Okay, it's, it's there. All right. All right. No, yeah, so, works. yeah, bro. And uh, <clears throat> music, <throat> music, music. Music is going great. It's crazy. Okay, you know what? Actually, while we're on the topic of music, I had a question about music. Yes. Right? Because uh, we both in the music. You know, we did music, and this is our world. This is our livelihood, everything. I have a question from an artist's standpoint. Um, ghostwriters. How do I feel about it? You you just read the rest of the sentence. <laughs> right there off the tip. Go ahead. How you feeling about it? How do I feel about ghostwriting? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it depends on what type of artist you want to be. You know, if you want to be like reach a height that is like really crazy, you're going to have people in the room that's going to help you. And that's mm -hmm. considered ghostwriting, right? You're going to mm -hmm. get references. You can hear a line, right? Take it, but it's still the same, essentially the same shit, right? Right. You, you reference it online. So I think it just depends on where you're trying to go. Where like, you're trying to go? Okay, so do you feel that a nigga that had a ghostwriter can't go to certain limits that a nigga didn't have a ghostwriter could? No, I just think it's it's a it's a different grind. Different in what sense? Expound a little bit. I would say usually people with ghostwriters, they are very label-driven. Ah. Uh. Like that's a label type thing. Like when you get you. when you get inside of a label, just like, be ready to have. This. It. We need this. We need this. this. And yeah, you yeah. don't really have a choice. Most right. of these people that started off just writing their own bars mm. don't do it anymore. Mm. Are greats. Mm. Wayne, Drake, Hov. Mm. Damn, you think Wayne is getting ghost? 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 It was. It was way too big. Big Stop. of a thing. You think Wayne? It, Gilly didn't lie. What Gilly said? I didn't hear this. Gilly wrote his some of his shit. Gilly wrote some of Wayne shit. What some of Wayne shit? I ain't hear this. That's part. why they had beef for so long. Yeah, bro. Really? really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I mean, it, it it has to be some truth there. He was writing for a lot of niggas. Wayne never said no. I don't know why that. I ain't hear it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's bro. crazy. That's yeah. that's 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 a perspective. I didn't. I didn't. Um... And he reached the, a huge height. Wayne was on everything. Rock shit, pop but do you, shit. Everything. Do you think he did? He did. Okay. So what did what what parts did Gilly write or like what? Albums or I don't know. Oh, the, the, the Carters. Up. Some of the Carters. No, stop playing. Some of for our real? greats. Yeah, album. I mean, he's still like right now. He's trying to get those real. Damn. It's, 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 on, it's on this. On their Spotify list, all the writers that's in that room. Okay, did you see the song credits? And yeah. the song credits that had the same thing. It had mad different people. It had mad different people. For real? Yeah, bro. Damn. Yeah. It's like it just depends when you're part of a label. Boss, can we you're get a, a can, machine? Can we, can we can we can we can we can we get a fact check? Get fact check, Spotify. Because because uh, look, because we know he come with some shit sometimes, and Wait, he be confident. Good shit. Uh, bullshit. You, oh bullshit. And he be back confident. So uh, a fact check for 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 Wayne and the Carters. Carters. He didn't write all of. He didn't. That's wild. I didn't know that. Yeah. In fact, that's a real. I really didn't know that at yeah, all. Yeah. Go go even go back to five hundred degrees. He that too. Gilly was big in that camp. He was writing a lot for the cash money. Damn. Shout out Gilly. Tag Gilly. Gilly, is it G true? Yeah. Gilly. Gilly. Is it true? What's up, Gilly? I need to know about this. Damn, that's wild. I didn't know that. He was mad. He said they didn't pay him. Hmm. And that's why Wayne made and Cannon. Cannon. That's what, that was aimed at Gilly the Kid. Wait, why? Because he was talking about the nigga. You got like Cannon? Like legit Cannon? Yeah. Okay, get some new shit. I ain't know about that. Oh, you wow. fucking people love it. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's fun. Yes, bro. I did not know that. Our greats get written for. Who gives a shit? Hove got written for because Kanye written for a uh, Hove. But but this is the thing though. What you mean written for? This is the thing we gotta understand as artists. When you it's say true. written for, do you mean like like you know when we in here boom boom ha ha, ha nigga done got like ninety percent of the song or maybe even a good chunk of the song or a good chunk of an idea, a good chunk of something, but just don't got something. He's like boom, say this, and you get that nigga. You know the one bar to finish that whole chorus, or is it like, yo, this nigga just gave you word for word, bar for bar, that whole chorus, that whole verse? Is it a difference? Is it a difference? When you hear, when you hear it 
from somebody saying, hey, I wrote for him or I wrote a bar from it, is there a difference to you as a listener? As a listener, oh, that's crazy. I think that's what I have my mind around. Because I think, because you know, it's crazy. I'm gonna tell you, and I'm only saying it's not. This is why I bring it up because this, this is, I have been always, bro, like, like writers, ghostwriters. Why, why the fuck is you? If you if you need a ghostwriter, you just shouldn't be doing music no more. You know what I mean? Correct. If the bars is not coming from you, it's not you. It's not your music. It's mm-hmm. not like like why the fuck would you be spitting other music? Blah blah blah, blah. You know what I mean? And and. I would hear the stories about, you know, the Rihanna Neo, the like just all the, the some of the greatest acts, hits. Yeah. You know, yeah, the like, shit everybody knows and you know, some shit people don't know. It's like the crazy hits and the music they made, it's like, yo, that was fire, but how the hell like yeah, did this is was it is it purely business? Because I feel like you in the studio it's supposed to be energy and intimacy, emotion. Right? And yeah, it's supposed to be a certain kind of intimacy to it, you know? And um I feel like the uh, there's there's somebody that made me think of this different as of lately is, is a is a nigga i just met bro and it's like he be talking like he don't want to rap but he just want to write music yeah but i be hearing some of, of, of this nigga's bars bro and it's like and i be hearing how he delivered too and it's like yo it's just crazy spit that shit nigga like yeah like bro that'll hit mm-hmm. but then i don't know if it's because niggas is not like i know I just don't have the consistency to be in here every day like how i see y'all niggas doing i know I don't, i'm not i'm not an artist you know right. but but yeah this is cold so then it's like lately i've been thinking like damn that's how niggas do it to give them a voice like yo you need a this person need to get this respect for this song like this is a masterpiece that if he ain't gonna put it out bro somebody gotta do it right. at least so it's heard you feel what i'm saying correct so you think about it but it's like because music is such an intimate thing then it's like you're putting on a veil right Unless that person is either where you're from or your lifestyle or whatever. And it's like they wrote something that's like, yo, I would say this. I would say boom, 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 boom. So mm-hmm. because I would say it and it's like they said what I said before I said it, I'm going to spit it. You know right. what I mean? But then it's like, nah, they said some shit I can't really say, but I'm going to put on a character for this. Then it's different. You know what I feel? Like you put on a character, it's like, I don't know. But at the same time, I, with me, I think personally, bro, I, I, I don't think I could take bars from somebody else really i that's feel like a dollar amount that's usually what gets it it's a because dollar. if i do bro <clears throat> i'm gonna do it in a sense where it's like i'm gonna promote it as this person's song i'm gonna say like you know like i'm gonna tag them and promote like this is their song it's not me i can't feel like it's me you feel me i think this is what i think why people become comfortable with it because hmm. they've already reached a certain height they've already reached mm. it they already solidified themselves mm-hmm. as a singer songwriter or this or that and now it doesn't matter anymore it's now is i need to chase the next i need to get something bigger right and if that's what you guys are going to expound for me because most of these and uh, that's the business yeah and that's the business, business because yeah. they're professional at this point they're professional right they don't it doesn't matter if it's their words or not because they're entertainers now at a point you become an entertainer you're not just a rapper anymore or a singer right now right, you're right, an entertainer right. and so now it becomes second nature that you can make anything sound good your words are not your but does it doesn't have to be that this is what i'm saying look think about this i, I talk about this with my brother all the time talking with anybody when i'm really watching a movie and just sitting down and chilling it's like let's think about entertainment and and i love it that andre 3000 said this in a, in a um interview just recently it's like uh nobody has real there's no real artistry and albums and shit no more you know it's all business driven i've not seen that and that's what it is in television. That's what it is in everything. It's, you, you see the, even the quirky jokes, the certain shit people do. It's like, it's not like the music we knew from back in the days where niggas didn't have to do everything you were just saying. Oh, let's abide by this. Let's do it. No, 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 no. Niggas was on their time. Niggas was on their schedule. Niggas was doing their wave, their their way. Their, they didn't have to feel like, oh, I had a point now where I need to do this to stay relevant. It's like, no, I'm going to keep doing me, but exercising different levels of me if i drain and stretch and twist and contort every part of me and there's nothing else that that produces any type of value to y'all then you know what i'm gonna do elevate to different venues or different business ventures because right. now i'm older i'm in the game i'm tired and i'm gonna do that which is why yeah. i respect a lot of those artists from back in the days we grew up on that transitioned over into different forms of the arts and elements it's like yeah you will old head yeah <laughs> Uh, and actually, can we tell them what we're drinking tonight? Oh, oh um, wait, hold up. Yeah, this is time. Hold up. Uh, we're not on coffee bean time. Sailor Jerry's. Oh, when you're feeling rough, jagged, smooth, coursing through the waves of life, 
and you need a cool, crisp, manly touch. Drink the sailor. Sailor. Get turned up. Mm. Oh, that's good. Would you like some? <laughs> um, I have some today, sir. Where I take the sports take, I'm going to confiscate the sports All right. And we're back. Other than my Nuggets being champions and partying all weekend and week and weeks on, Jokic going back to his homeland and watching races and shit like that. The city is shooting uh, each other in Colorado. We're shooting. What do you mean shooting? Like, like pop, 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 people pop. are getting popped. Oh, it's gotten that real? It's, you know, we're becoming a big See, city now. This is why y'all can't win. You see, it's our first championship. We got our shit together. I thought we had our shit together, but now we're shooting people for the hell of it. Pop, pop, bang, bang. Crap, crap. But tell me something. Who's shooting who? Um, it's just random shootings. Because y'all won. Yeah, it's just not even like. This is why y'all really. don't need to win. Y'all just... win and y'all kill y'all niggas. Well, no, nobody died. <laughs> that, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's crazy because hey, hey, nobody, hey, nobody died. That's a crucial nobody. fact, but at the same time, it's yeah. like, mm, it really don't mean much difference, <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> nigga <laughs> still getting shot for a basketball yes, game. Yes. Um, Yo, we won. Wounds. Shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Okay. Because you push me. And that's still. And we, I'm really lit right you now. You still claiming bucket head. What is it? Box heads. Box. Box. Box, box niggas. It's box. Hey, we live in the city. Familiar scene. with Nick Cannon. I am. Okay. Um, are you familiar with how many uh, children he has? 14, right? Yes. Um, so they say Nick Cannon right now is goals. Um, hmm? Yeah, that, I, I, yeah, okay. Goals? Goals, hashtag. Goals like, like what I want to be? Oh, oh my God, yeah. I want to be Nick Cannon. He has 14 kids. They, who's they? Um, media. People that comment, they can. Okay. Uh, they said he figured out the code. Oh shit, Nick Cannon figured it out. He didn't fumble. That's what, that's what they're saying out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I was like, shit, what what the fuck are they talking about? He's back fit again. So I'm like, oh, okay, the nigga's fit right now. He's doing his whole workout with jeans and Tim's thing. Mm. But no, they wasn't talking about that. You're talking about like all the checks a year, like all, yeah, all yeah. The... I'd say I was thinking about the money. No, not the money. The baby mamas? And I was like, oh, the baby mama's bad. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, I didn't even yeah, know. We got one. a few, we got like four or five. And I was like, oh, shit, they're, okay, they're cute. But they're not talking about that either. After, <clears throat> after you have 12 kids, you don't pay child support anymore. Wait, what? After that. Wait, what? Um, after you have 12 children, mm -hmm. all the other kids don't get child support. So he has 14, right? Wait, so like the... You have 14, the 12 before that don't get it, and the last two do? No, or, or the last two don't. The last two don't? Gets child support. They don't? No. Damn. So what, they just say fucking 12 is enough? <laughs> yeah, he's he can, now you keep fucking all you want now. He Are figured it out. Is that a real thing? That's a real thing. Wow. Does it got to be like 14 different baby mamas or what? No. After 12 kids... No more child support. The go the government Damn. says no, nigga. You gotta work on your twelve. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> Fuck everybody else. He, he cracked the code. Put cat through the ringer, nigga. Twelve. Boosie eight. Hey. I fuck with Boosie, boy. Let me tell you something. I fuck with Boosie, boy. Boosie on Boosie. Boosie is another kind of nigga. Some paychecks clear away. Let like the sunshine after the rain. I put a lot of work and I don't get sleep. I don't even remember how to feel pain. I know that it's gonna pay off. I don't get